Welcome to 1.7 Sketches and Constructions. Okay, so we have some new definitions, of course. First, we need to talk about what a sketch is. A sketch is a careful, neat, freehand picture. It's not accurate in angle measure or in side measure. It's basically, um, if you're going to draw a picture, what we would normally call a drawing, we are now calling a sketch. Because a drawing uses tools like a ruler or a protractor, a compass, a T-square. We don't hardly ever use T-squares anymore, but that makes a nice, perfect 90 degree angle. Even using a computer is considered a drawing. Okay, but you basically don't do anything freehand at all. Everything is using tools. And then last is a construction, which is what you have probably never done before this class. It's a drawing made with just two instruments. Okay, one is an unmarked straight edge, which we're usually going to use a ruler or a protractor for that straight edge, even though there are markings on it. We just have to disregard the markings. And, but you could literally use a credit card, um, the side of your book, anything that is straight. Okay, and the second tool is a compass. So I'm really hoping that you have your compass with you because you're going to need those for your summary today. Okay, so your very first construction, we're only doing one today. We're going to do, I think, 15 total in the entire book. So you just usually do one to three or four at a time, okay? So anyway, if I give you two points, we're going to label them point A and B, we are going to construct a circle that has the radius that is equal to the distance between A and B. So if this is A and B, you're going to put your compass, the pivot side on one point, and the pencil side on the other point. And then you're literally just going to draw the circle with that radius. Now, normally I won't be doing constructions on a PowerPoint. I'll be doing them on paper with a document cam. But this one I feel like is simple enough that I feel like you could follow the directions. So if that's your question today is that you're not, not understanding the construction, please let me know. And we will talk about that in class. So for your WISC summary, I need you to sketch a semicircle draw a semicircle, and then construct a semicircle. Then you're going to sketch a square and then draw a square. We will learn how to construct a square later on, uh, further down. I want to say it's like chapter six or seven, quite a ways away. So I will see you in class. Oh, I forgot to tell you how to submit that um, summary to me. You're going to need to take a picture. Um, you can scan. Uh, but I don't want more than three because sometimes if you give me five, one on each separate um, attachment, sometimes the email will bog down. So if you can get it so at least two of them are on um, one picture, then you'll have three at the most. Okay, if you can fit it all on one, that's fine, but I need to be able to zoom in so I can check and see, you know, if you did a drawing, a sketch, or a construction. All right. Now I'll really see you in class. Bye-bye. <laughs>